The psychology of love is one of the most interesting topics and one we're all curious about. Wouldn't you agree? And though it can mean something different for everyone, that doesn't stop us from trying to better understand it and seeking to learn how to nurture it. And though psychologists have put forth plenty of ideas and theories about love, what it is, the many faces of it, how and why it happens, something that maybe we don't explore enough is how love develops over time. With that said, stick around to learn more about the five stages of love and why most people stop at three. Stage one, infatuation and early attachment. According to clinical psychologist, Dr. Deborah Kushaba, the earliest stage of falling in love has a lot to do with attraction, infatuation and early attachment. Often people will experience a strong sense of euphoria being around the object of their affection. And when their feelings are reciprocated, life will seem all the sweeter for it. They'll get butterflies, laugh more, flirt often, and feel little else but passion and playfulness. This is usually everyone's favorite stage of love because it's all about fun and romance. Stage two, getting serious. Enter stage two. Once the initial glow of first falling in love wears off, couples will often start to get serious about their relationship. This phase is usually when a lot of big commitments are made like saying I love you for the first time or learning to compromise with your partner. Couples who don't put in the work, says psychotherapist and clinical social worker Alison Abrams, will likely drift apart once their attraction wears off and may even find themselves getting infatuated with other people. Stage three, the crisis stage. In a decades long clinical study on how the brain reacts to love, conducted by neuroscientist Dr. Helen Fisher and clinical psychologist Dr. Lucy Brown, the more evolved part of the brain will start to take over after couples have been together for a while. Participants describe their love as richer, deeper, and more rooted in knowing the other person better. Dr. Brown explains that this stronger bond is a result of facing a significant crisis together which helped both parties see how much they've grown, changed, and whether or not they can continue to grow together. That's why this is often referred to as the make or break point of relationships and why most people stop at this stage of love. Stage four, climbing down from the pedestal. Not all couples come out of the crisis stage and those that do don't always emerge unscathed. It's at this stage that the couple sees each other's flaws and weaknesses most clearly, but learns to forgive and accept one another in spite of them. According to an article published by BetterHelp, this stage is marked by a deeper commitment and strong feelings of contentment because it is no longer a love held up by ideals of romance or passion, but rather by a strong foundation of friendship, trust, and mutual respect. Often couples at this stage are married, have children, or live together. Stage five, deep attachment and stability. Not long after the fourth comes the fifth and final stage of love, deep attachment and stability. According to BetterHelp, reaching this stage is quite a rare achievement as it means that a strong and lasting bond has been made. The relationship has already reached a place of balance, stability, and continued emotional fulfillment. The only thing left to do is to keep it that way by remaining communicative, honest, and loving towards one another. They say nothing worth having comes easy. Well, that's certainly true when it comes to love. It can be beautiful and enthralling, yes, but far from the perfect fairy tale most of us may want to believe. But having a good understanding of the different stages a relationship goes through can help you navigate your way towards a more enduring and loving partnership. So, what are your general thoughts on this video? Or about love in general? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and share it with others. Until next time, thanks for watching and take care.